Hello, my name is Brenda and my channel is Handwork Maniac. Today is Wednesday, July 6th, and I have a couple of items of housekeeping to show you today or talk to you about today. Three fully finished objects, which is a crazy, wonderful thing. <clears throat> and then I have a couple of whips I've worked on since the last video. I just made the last video about a week ago and this video, even though I'm making it today, is not going to be uploaded for several more days. <clears throat> so you won't see it until like next week, probably. Okay, housekeeping. I told you last week that Colette gave me this pattern. And she said, I didn't, but I'd love to borrow it when you're done with it because I think it's so cute. <laughs> oh, like the day after I made the video, it dawned on me. That wasn't from Colette, that was from my brother, Walter, and his wife, Juliana. It's heart and hand, patchwork sheep. Look how cute that is. And with the pattern, they made me a project bag. Look how cool it is. It's got Miss Hathaway's garden in it. Let's see if I can show you the inside. It has moths. On the inside fabric and then the, <laughs> the back looks like this it's nice and big it has a zipper right here they're amazing and Walter said that he helped he turned it inside out and while Juliana was sewing it up thank you and Last week, I told you that Deanna at Cherry Hill Stitchery sent me two of these, one for me to stitch and one for you to stitch, with the fabric and the floss. And so I was giving it away um, and told you that you needed to comment with the word honey in the comments below if you would like to be put into the drawing to win this. And I'll send it out to you. I forgot in all my excitement of doing a giveaway, I forgot to tell you all the details about it. <laughs> okay, so it's by Cherry Hill Stitchery, my friend Deanna. She, these paper patterns, she just started doing paper patterns in January and she does it through a distributor. So to get the paper pattern, you're gonna have to go through a shop, a stitching shop. The, she said she knows the Fat Quarter Shop sells them on their website, the Fat Quarter Shop, or you can go to your local needlework shop and ask them to order it for you if they don't already have it. If you want the PDF version, Cherry Hill Stitchery does have an Etsy store, Cherry Hill Stitchery, and you can get the PDF version there, plus all of her other PDF charts that she has there. You can't get the paper charts there, but you can get all of her PDF charts there. And she gave me a coupon code for the PDF. So this is for the Etsy site only. If you want to order a PDF off of her Etsy site, Cherry Hill Stitchery, the coupon code is HandworkManiac10, and that will get you 10% off. How cool is that? And I'm going to be stitching it too. I think I'm going to stitch it tiny and make it into a little pillow. I think it would be so cute. Um. I know this video isn't going to upload for several days and I'm going to choose a winner on July 13th. So you have until Tuesday, July 12th. If you happen to see this video before Tuesday, July 12th, you can still enter, but do not enter on this video. You need to go back to video number 96, the, just the last one that I did, and leave a comment with the word honey in it. That's the word that I will be looking for. Don't leave it in a comment on this video because <laughs> I can't search two different videos. I'm just going to search the comments on the one video. All right. Hopefully that was clear. <laughs> um, I think that's all of my housekeeping. Now I have three fully finished objects. This is Bent Creek Snappers. 
and it was the monthly series. There was one for each month of the year. This is June Zooms, August Rings, May Blooms, and they have little snaps that you attach to each one. That's why they're called snappers. And do they have a year? Because I stitched these copyright 2003, and that's probably about, I probably stitched them about, I don't know, 2005, 2006. And they've been hanging on my wall unfinished ever since then. I did them all in one long piece. And I bought this bell pull hardware to finish them with like two years ago. And finally today, I actually sewed a seam down the side, sewed a seam at the top so I could put it on this hardware. It is very long. <laughs> So I can't show it to you all at once, but I will slowly move up so you can see all the different months. And then there's a matching metal piece on the bottom. And then... I don't know if you can see it, but there's snap, black snaps or silver snaps on every month. This one has three silver and then the border, the border was a freebie on their website, Bent Creek, to go with the series if you wanted to stitch it all as one chart. That was fun and I'm so proud of myself for finally getting it fully finished. <laughs> now that one can hang on the wall back on the wall and then i did another long skinny one very similar to that by heart and hand and the series was called mother's wisdom i sleep tight i can't read backwards oh listen to your teacher <laughs> Mind your manners, etc. Look both ways. Drive safely. Say your prayers. Be nice. Dress warm. Eat right. Study hard. Wash your hands. <laughs> and sleep tight. I think that's where we started. Yes, yeah, sleep tight. There are 12, I believe. And I also stitched them back in. I bet it was about the same time. Let's see if they have a date. 2006. And they're just little. I bought the bell pull. These are little wooden dowel and little ends you can put on it. And the metal bell pull hardware, I believe. It was two years ago, but I think I bought them at um, Stony Creek's website. You just have to measure. They have lots of bell pull hardware. You just need to measure the width of your piece and decide which one will work for you. But that was fun. That one's just this big. So proud of myself for getting that finished. And then I showed you this StitchCon sampler in my last video that I started at StitchCon. And I showed you the box that I bought in the annex to finish it with. So I was at Bear Lake last weekend and I finished this piece while I was there. And today I actually put it in this. The box has rulers on the inside and the outside, top and bottom, all the shelves. And I actually fully finished it and put it in there. And then I just have some 
couple of things sitting in it. Just check, trying out different things, see what I like in it. I'll put it up somewhere here in my stitching room. That was so fun. I did change the reds and the greens from what was called for in the pattern. And this floss ring has a little tag on it that I got from Tammy T. That makes a fabulous noise. Love that noise. I changed the greens to five. It was, it called for 500, 501, and 502. And I changed it to 3051, 3052, and 3364 for the greens. The reds called for 351, 349, and 321, and I changed them to 3712, 3328, and 347. All right, I think that's all of the finishes. Let's talk about the things, projects I worked on since I filmed last week. I did spend several hours on Peaceable Kingdom by Catherine Theron. It was a class piece. You have to take the class from her to get this um, kit. But I was working on these dividing bands. It's a um, cherry bark color uh, stem stitch that divides all of these bands. So I had to do this one above the alphabet, this one below the alphabet, and I started on this one down here. I'm almost over to there. Oh, and I did the side over here. I still have this dividing band, this dividing band, and this dividing band to go. And then all I have left is the border. And I'm hoping it's finished before I show it to you again, before the next video. And then I'll unroll the whole thing and show it to you. Um, oh, in Miss, in Miss Hathaway's garden. I didn't actually stitch on it, but this is my only haul today. And it came a month or two ago. I just forgot. To show it to you. <laughs> this pattern has 128 colors. So it was a lot of colors. Let's see if I can do this so you can see it. And it was a kit. I'm doing the kit version. So it came with all of the floss pre-cut and on a little floss card. But I wanted to put it on floss drops because I like floss drops better. These are called Mini Stitchy Hug Floss Tags. And see how the floss just goes around it like that and then down through the middle. I just thought that was so cool. These are her mini versions. She has bigger versions. She has a couple of different shapes. She even has one that has a hook at the top in case you hook all of yours, hang yours on a, a dowel. I bought a hundred from her. I need to buy some more because I there was 128 colors, so I had to use some other floss drops for the ones I didn't have. But I just wanted to show you this to you. They're on really nice um, cardstock uh, comic board kind of stuff. And I put a little sticker on them to put the color, or you could write the color right on there. But I just thought they were the coolest little floss drops. Okay, so I got them. The lady is in that makes them is in Canada. Her name is Sarcy Girl Designs. S A R C Y G U R L Designs. And the ones I bought are the mini Stitchy Hug floss tags off of her Etsy shop. And I forgot to show them to you when I got them. Okay, I told you in my last video that my daughter Catherine, boss daughter, um, every year when my birthday and Mother's Day come around, they're right close to each other. 
her gift for several years has been that she takes home one of my couple of my pieces that I'm um, struggling with. I'm on a part that I don't enjoy and so I keep putting off working on them. She takes those home and puts several days into each one of them to kind of give them a little jump start and then gives them back to me. And she gave them back to me today. I just have to show you. This one is Beachcomber by Carolyn Manning Designs. And this is one of my WIPGO uh, numbers that got called this month. I can't remember if I have to do 12 hours or 20 hours on it was my goal. So I'm excited to work on it now. I'm using the Call for DMC on a 25 count even weave, one over one. It's in my cute bag from the Brass Button Shop that she made me with the BYU fabric because I graduated from BYU College. And Catherine did the whole outline, this color all the way around so that I could see the border. And then she also did some more of these up here and this and this. I think that is so cool. Now I can see, I love having the edges done and then you can just kind of fill in in the middle wherever you, she's like, so if you get bored working right here now, you can just work wherever. I'm like, that is so true. So I'm so excited to work on that. I'm using the DMC floss, one strand of floss over two fabric, over one. It's one over one. One strand of floss over one fabric thread, full cross. I just think it's the most beautiful colors. So I'm going to be working on that this month. And then she also took home Sleeping Princess by Mirabilia. Mine is on 32 count Water Lily. And I was working on the decorative um, bedstead up here, the bed canopy. And I had like part of it done with just a little bit of, I think I just had part of this silver done. And she finished the whole canopy. Look at that. She even did the back stitching. She did everything but the beads on the canopy. Which I love. I was not looking forward to the rest of that canopy. I was really, I had it part way over to here and I was really hoping it was going to meet up over here. I was afraid she was going to call me and say, uh, mom, you got a problem, <laughs> but it met up. Thank goodness. And she fixed, I didn't have all the back stitching that I was supposed to on her eye. So she fixed that for me so that she has a little bit more defined of an eye sleeping. So now I can come down here and work on the fun mattresses. I can't wait. So cool. Thank you, Catherine. Best gift ever. While I was at Bear Lake, I worked on Consider the Lilies just a little bit. Let's see if we can get it right side up this time. By Heartstring Samplery. Mine is on 46 count flax linen with the called for colors. I think there were two colors I didn't have and so I pulled something out of my stash that was similar. But I finished two more flowers on the border and two more little trees. Uh, one strand of floss over two fabric threads on 46 count. And then because I was at Bear Lake, this was my, um, this was a mania start that I had assigned to July to kind of focus on in July. And I knew it's small enough. I knew that I could probably finish it during July. And then I was going to Bear Lake for several days. So I took it with me because it's a beach cottage. Look at that. It looks just like Bear Lake. So I took it up there and tried really hard to finish it while I was up there. Got home yesterday and worked on it a little bit more last night. It's not quite finished. There's just some 
see these this flowery vine that's lazy daisies and french knots i think sitting on top of the stitching i haven't done the back stitching and the decorative stitching for the weather vane yet i think there's some more stuff down here some back stitching decorative stitching that i still need to do but i'm so close so it will definitely be finished the next time I sh on the next video And this color of water is the color of Bear Lake. So I took um, several videos while I was at Bear Lake. Um, it's a freshwater lake, half in large lake, half in Utah, half in Idaho. And it has a sandy beach on parts of it because there is little... Um, that live in the bottom it's a very deep lake and there's they look like tiny little crab shells and then tiny little snail shells that live down in the bottom and then those shells eventually break up and create a sand beach like you're at the ocean only it's still a freshwater lake so we have always loved I grew up going there every summer my kids go up every summer my parents have a small uh, in Maine you would call it a small camp up there it's a tiny little cabin we have up there um, so I took several videos while I was up there. Andrew is going to make a montage for you at the end of this video. I showed you, I wanted you, I was trying to show you that this water was the same color as Bear Lake. So I took some video of this with the lake in the background and um, the other one that I finished, Tishcon Sampler, I took some footage of that in front of the lake as well, as well as some, just some other nice footage while I was up there. So enjoy that, and I will try and make another video. I should be making a video about every week during July. So enjoy that, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Sitting out here on the deck at Bear Lake, stitching. About to finish the Stitch Con sampler from this year.